Palpitation. Definition. Is an unexpected or unpleasant awareness of the heart beating in the chest. It occurs due to 1. Causes of rapid circulation, sympathetic stimulation, anxiety, pregnancy, exercise, caffeine, alcohol, spicy food, or overactive thyroid. 2. Causes of decreased blood volume, fever, anemia, dehydration, blood loss, low levels of sugar, potassium, oxygen or carbon dioxide in blood. 3. Medications. 1. Asthma inhalers, beta blockers you take for high blood pressure or heart disease. 2. Thyroid drugs and antiarrhythmic medicines. 3. Some cough, cold medicines, including decongestants. 4. Some herbal and nutritional supplements. 5. Recreational drug use such as cocaine, amphetamines and nicotine. 4. Cardiovascular causes. Discussed later. We have four main cardiovascular causes. 1. Rapid heart rate, according to sight. 1. Sinus or paroxysmal tachycardia. 2. Supraventricular tachycardia. 3. Ventricular tachycardia. 2. Irregular heart. As in, 4. Extrasystole. 5. Atrial fibrillation. 3. Forcible heart contraction, volume overload, increased blood in ventricles. It's due to 1. Aortic incompetence. Discussed later. 2. Mitral incompetence. Discussed later. 4. Cardiac neurosis. Due to anxiety no organic cause can be found. This table shows the different main types of palpitation, arrhythmias. Detailed history taking can help to distinguish between these types. Sinus tachycardia has gradual onset the others sudden. Atrial fibrillation has a regular character the others regular. Sinus tachycardia usually associated with anxiety. In supraventricular tachycardia polyuria and lightheadedness. In atrial fibrillation polyuria no lightheadedness no syncope. In ventricular tachycardia we have presyncope and syncope. Timing of sinus paracosmal tachycardia few minutes, supraventricular tachycardia minutes to hours, the others variable. Extrasystoles exacerbated by fatigue, caffeine, alcohol and relieved by walking. Supraventricular tachycardia usually at rest and exacerbated by trivial movement like bending may be relieved by vagal maneuvers. The others exacerbated by exercise and relieved spontaneously. The severity increases according to the site from up to down, from atrium to ventricle. Atrial fibrillation is very variable in severity and may be asymptomatic. Ask about nature of the palpitation. Is it rapid heartbeat, forceful or irregular? Can the patient tap it out? Timing of symptoms, speed of onset and offset, frequency and duration of episodes. Precipitants for symptoms or relieving factors associated symptoms. Presyncope, syncope or chest pain history of underlying cardiac disease. Healthy people are occasionally aware of their heart beating with normal, sinus, rhythm, especially after exercise or in stressful situations such as when waiting for an interview or examination. The sensation is often more common in bed at night and slim people may notice it when lying on their left side. Ectopic beats, extrasystoles, are a benign cause of palpitation at rest and are abolished by exercise. The premature ectopic beat produces a small stroke volume and an impalpable impulse due to incomplete left ventricular filling. The subsequent compensatory pause leads to ventricular overfilling and a forceful contraction with the next beat. Accordingly, patients often describe missed beats, sometimes followed by a particularly strong heartbeat, thump. Supraventricular tachycardia produces sudden paroxysms of rapid regular palpitations that can sometimes be terminated with vagal stimulation using valsalva breathing maneuvers or carotid sinus pressure. It often affects young patients with no other underlying cardiac disease. Ventricular tachycardia can produce similar symptoms but is more commonly associated with presyncope or syncope, and tends to affect patients with cardiomyopathy or previous myocardial infarction. 
high-risk features that increase the likelihood of a life-threatening arrhythmia such as ventricular tachycardia include 1. Previous myocardial infarction or cardiac surgery-associated syncope or severe chest pain family history of sudden death. 2. Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome significant structural heart disease such as hypertrophic cardiomyopathy or aortic stenosis. Symptoms. Heart palpitations are common. One study found that 16% of people saw their primary care provider because they had palpitations. Heart palpitations are one of the most common reasons people visit a cardiologist. Heart palpitation symptoms may feel like your heart is, 1. Racing. 2. Pounding. 3. Missing a beat. 4. Having an extra beat. 5. Flip-flopping. Means change completely. 6. Fluttering. Means quick delicate movements. Fluttering you can feel heart palpitations in your chest, neck or throat. Tests to diagnose heart palpitations. 1. Blood and urine tests. 2. Electrocardiogram, ECG, EKG, stress test. 3. Echocardiogram, heart ultrasound. 4. A halter monitor you wear for a day or longer to record your heart's activity. 5. Electrophysiology study. Cardiac catheterization. 6. You may need to see an electrophysiologist. This is a provider who specializes in abnormal heart rhythms. Treatment of heart palpitations. 1. Treatment of the cause. 2. In abnormal heart rhythm, you may need medication, procedure, surgery or a device to correct the problem. 3. Calming activities like yoga, drink less coffee. 4. Stop smoking. Drinking alcohol. Eating spicy or rich food. Working out too hard. 5. Control your blood pressure and cholesterol levels.